Yes. Yes. Cosmetologist. Yeah. Huh? A herpetologist. What is that? Study of reptiles and amphibians. Study of reptiles and amphibians. So I have a lot of scientists, doctors, graphic designers. Now to my scientists, to my scientists and my doctors, plastic surgeons, veterinarians. Do you guys like school? No. Well, you better get used to it because you're going to need a lot of it to accomplish your goals. You see, I asked what you wanted to be because I wanted you guys to know that when you say what it is that you want to accomplish in life, you then have to begin to examine what it takes to make this possible. Okay? You know how many years go into being a plastic surgeon? Ten years, ten years, ten years after, that's after, after high school, right? Okay, cool. Do you know how many years go into being a herpetologist? A lot. How many? A lot. A lot. Okay, well I hope that you guys, don't, don't, don't set goals for yourself that go against what it is that you are going to be willing to do to accomplish them. Okay, if you know that my man, you learn how to play the guitar yet? Yeah. You play pretty good? You can sing? Yeah. You see, these are realistic goals. Now, if my man can't play the guitar, my man can't sing, he say he wants to be in a band, want, you know, want, want to play guitar and, and, and be a lead singer, that's not realistic. Because he hasn't, he hasn't done anything thus far to, to, to show how much it is that he wants to accomplish his goal. Young lady, what have you written so far? You wrote two books. Very good. You see, it's very, it's very important that it's very important that you that you invest in your future. That you invest in your future. Who can tell me what invest means? Invest. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's. Yes. Very good. To put something, to put something into a situation in order to receive a greater gain afterwards. Investment. Now some people, you know, when you say investment, they think financial investment. That's one way of looking at it. But as she just stated, are there any athletes in here? Any athletes? Do you practice? Yeah. Often? Um, She's good. She's good? Yeah. You, see, you see, this would be considered an investment into the future. Now, what if she chose to hang out and watch TV all day, didn't practice? To get back? No. <laughs> I would get back. Would, would, she, would, she be, would she be on the fast track to become a professional athlete? No. Absolutely yeah. not. You get out of life what you put into it. The more you show how much you are willing to, to, to sacrifice to accomplish the goal that you have set for yourself, the more that you show how much you want it, how much you know your drive is existing, then the closer you are to accomplishing your goal. Just saying, I want to be a millionaire is not enough to become a millionaire. Just saying, I want to be uh, 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 a professional football player is not enough to become a professional football player. You have to get up and get out there and work hard every day, whether you're tired or not, whether you want to or not. School is the same way. No matter what it is you guys want to do in your life, man, an education is going to come first and foremost. But education will be what separates the winners from the losers. But education will be what separates those who have from those who have not. I'm going to break it all the way down to you. But education will be what separates those of you who own the country.
companies, from those of you who come and fill out applications to get jobs hoping to work for the company. How many of you guys want to run your own company, have your own business, be your own CEO? Do you know how much work comes with that? You're going to have to come earlier than everybody else, stay later than everybody else. There's an enormous amount of work and tireless efforts that go into this. I just want you guys to know this. Now, would you guys work for anyone if you were smarter than the person you work for? No. Absolutely not. You may as well run the company yourself. You see, and this is, and it's also important that you know a fool and his money are soon to part. <laughs> Which means, no matter how much money you may run into, hypothetically speaking, let's just say if someone inherited $10 million today. Sounds great. But without an education, they will be broke tomorrow. I assure you. After everyone gets money, after everyone becomes successful, Every one person, there is at least 10, 20, sometimes hundreds of people who work on nothing but to trick them out of their money. Now, how do you keep from being tricked out of your money? You're smarter than the person. You got to be smarter than the people who are trying to trick you. Now, how do you do that? Education. You have to take your education seriously. Now, I know school is not, the, is not always the coolest place to be. I know it's not always going down in the classrooms. <laughs> but I assure you, the things that you learn in class and school today, they will be there for you later on in the future when you need them. Let's say, how long do you think it will take you to spend a million dollars? Five seconds. Five seconds. What you going to buy? <laughs> How long do you think it'll take you to spend? Four days. Four months? Two days. Four hours. Mm. You spread it out? You spread it out over how much time? Five years. But we're talking about you. Oh, 
How long do you think it'll take before you say, I need a new wardrobe? A day. My man. Let's say the best case scenario. Two years. Probably like three. Three years. Okay, so new wardrobe, three years. New wardrobe will last you three years. Brand new car will sell lasts about 20 years at best. A million dollars will last you about 30 years at best. Let me ask you a question. What's two plus two? Four. Okay. A hundred years ago, what was two plus two? Four. Who? Four. Okay. A hundred years from now, what will two plus two be? Four. That's never going to change. So the things that you learn today will last you longer than any car, longer than any wardrobe, longer than any amount of money. And education will put you in a position to continue to make money, to continue to buy cars, to continue to buy clothes. That's why I think you guys should put your education before any material item that you could possibly possess. You see my point? Yeah. Okay, great. Now, also, it's also very important that you understand you guys are responsible for your own decision. You guys are responsible for your own decisions. You cannot blame your parents, your teachers, your counselors, T.I. <laughs> for any other decisions that you make that lead you down the wrong road. You have to be responsible enough and you have to care enough about your life to make great decisions for yourself. Now, nobody's perfect. Understand that. Your teachers ain't perfect. Your parents ain't perfect. T.I. not perfect. Yeah. No. I just, I just look perfect. But, but seriously, seriously, no one expects for you to not make mistakes. What we expect from you is to, is to make intelligent decisions. Think before you do things. Don't just go out there and act without applying thought to what you're about to do first, because that's how you get yourself in a world of trouble. How many people have been in trouble? How many of y'all have been in trouble before? Everybody here. <laughs> me too. Okay, now, let me ask. When you get in trouble, do you think that if you would have stopped and took the time to actually think about what you were going to do before you went and did it, do you think you would have still gotten in trouble? No. Me neither. <laughs> you see, so that tells me that just simply stopping to think for a second, a minute, no matter how fast things are going around you, you have to slow yourself down, step back, and think, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? What could happen to me? You know, what is the risk? What is the reward? How could I benefit? How could I lose? You have to think about these things before you make a decision or, or, or before you make the decision to go and do something that could possibly cost you your freedom, your life. You don't want to, you don't want to put yourself in a situation and wake up one day and you in a world of trouble that you never intended on getting yourself into. Being stupid can kill you. <laughs> I'm serious. It's funny now, but I'm, I'm, I'm being for real. Being stupid can kill you. Ignorance is no excuse. So, I say that to say, stopping to think will save you, me, us, a lot of trouble. Now, it takes a little time to master that, you know, 